Okay, see question number five. Let alpha beta belongs to natural number. B roots of the equation. What is that equation? Y square minus seventy x plus lambda equal to zero. Lambda we don't know constant. Where lambda by two, lambda by three not belongs to n. That means is that lambda should not be divisible by two or three. If divisible by two or three means that is going to become natural number. Okay. If lambda assumes minimum value possible, then what is the value of alpha minus one root plus beta minus one under root into lambda plus thirty five divided by alpha minus beta modulus? Answer has to come sixty. See how we are going to achieve this. Sir. Okay, first of all, let me write the equation once again. X square minus seventy x plus lambda equal to zero. See here, alpha plus beta what? Minus b by y seventy. Alpha beta c by y lambda. That means see, alpha into beta should not be divisible by two or three. Alpha plus beta should come seventy. See here. Uh, what we can say? Some options are there. Naturally, these are natural number means you have to start from one only. Let us start alpha is equal to one like. See one hint I am giving here. Okay, see what hint I am giving. See if alpha is equal to one, automatically alpha plus beta seventy means beta should be sixty nine. Okay, then only alpha plus beta. Then what about alpha beta? Sixty nine into one, sixty nine. But this is divisible by three. Okay, this is divisible by three. Okay, when you divide with three, twenty-three uh, will come. Twenty-three. Twenty-three is a natural number. That is why alpha is equal to one is not possible. Now, two, three, four, you should not go. Why? Because two, if you go automatically, two and three. We should not take four. Even if you take, also two is there. Divisible by two. Now minimum alpha you have to take five. Sorry. Minimum alpha. Alpha is equal to five. This is minimum you have to take. Why? Because we are asking minimum value only. That is why minimum value five. If you take, you are going to get the answer. And what about beta? Sixty-five. Why do I say alpha plus beta together should become seventy means if one is one is six five, another one should be sixty five. Then what about alpha beta? Sixty five into five, five fives are twenty five, five six are thirty plus two thirty two, two twenty five. Now you tell me, this is lambda. Lambda is it divisible by two? No, why because odd number. Is it divisible by three? No. Why? Because see, three plus two, five plus five, ten. Ten is not divisible by three. That is why alpha beta is equal to three twenty five. This is your lambda. Okay. Now you have got alpha beta lambda. Now you proceed here. Alpha minus one under root plus beta minus one under root by alpha minus beta modulus. Into lambda plus thirty five is equal to c five minus one sixty five minus one five minus sixty five but modulus three twenty five plus thirty five. Okay. Now five minus one is four. Four under root is two. Plus sixty-five minus one is sixty-four under root eight. Three twenty-five plus five. Three thirty plus thirty. Three sixty. Five minus sixty-five minus sixty. Minus sixty modulus sixty. Eight plus two. Ten into six sixty. Sixty will be your answer. Okay. Let us open next question. 